Hey everyone, I'm Justin with Arc.io, and today I have something pretty cool to show you. It's a working demo of Arc Scooters, a rental solution using IoT on the blockchain. This proof of concept showcases the capabilities of the Arc Core framework to build real applications with a real use case. Now is the best time to subscribe, enable notifications, and set them to all because new exciting content is coming to youtube.arc.io. Now, Arc Scooters uses a custom Arc-based blockchain called Radians. Developers can assess and pull apart the open source code to apply Arc technology to their actual IoT use case. Arc Scooters is funded by Arc Grants, a recently launched program for developers and their blockchain-powered ideas. Developers can apply for up to $10,000 USD worth of funding at grants.arc.io. MZ and PJ both applied to the bounty shortly after it was posted. They didn't know each other beforehand, but they hit it off quickly, giving birth to a new collaboration. MZ is a developer and Arc technology aficionado. He's worked on multiple Arc-related projects, including Arc Promo, a proof of concept for loyalty programs, and Arcafire.net, a tool that lets you receive an email when your delegate falls out of forging. Now, PJ's background is in electrical engineering, and he has a focus on embedded firmware and ASIC development for consumer electronics. He currently owns a distribution e-commerce business and spends a lot of time researching IoT technology. PJ has been prototyping with the Arc C++ SDK since 2018. Their contributions show what's possible with Arc and a talented community that never shies away from a challenge. So at this time, I'm going to start showing you the technical demo of Arc Scooters in action while telling you a little more about the project itself and some details and how it all came together. So the Arc Scooters project uses a battery-powered embedded hardware that contains a Wi-Fi, GPS, and a display with an electronic switch that controls the scooter's lock. Here's a quick look at what those devices look like. This project uses hardware from Adafruit, particularly their Feather line of development boards, which speed up prototyping with a standardized set of pinouts and libraries. This IoT device attaches to an electric scooter and is wired so it can enable and disable power to the scooter's motor. It's also responsible for operating a QR code. This QR code contains information such as location, recipient wallet address, and rental rate denoted in radians. A rental session is initiated by scanning the QR code and sending a rental start transaction to the blockchain. Once the rental start transaction is received and forged by the blockchain, an event is emitted triggering the scooter's IoT hardware to unlock for use. When the time is up, the rental session is done and the scooter automatically locks, making it available for rental once again. The Arc Scooters app is the primary interface for users and works on both iOS and Android. This simple front-end design is how the end user or scooter renter will execute the entire rental process. Think of it as a simplified Uber Lyft app without a middleman and you are the driver. A user initiates a rental using the mobile app to scan a QR code generated by the scooter's IoT device. After scanning the QR code, a user sets the duration of their ride based on a predetermined fee and signs a transaction. Once the rental start transaction is sent to Radians and subsequently forged and validated, the event is sent in real time to the scooter. The IoT device then unlocks the scooter so the user can have some fun. The Arc Scooter's mobile app also comes with some cool features like monitoring real time blockchain events and native dark mode on iOS. Important information about the state of the scooter is stored on Radians, a custom Arc-based blockchain developed by MZ and PJ. This information includes scooter registration and rental status, as well as information pertaining to geolocation and rental duration. Other rules, such as fees and whether or not a rider can receive a refund for unused time may also be configured. All of this is done through the use of Arc's generic transaction interface, or GTI for short. For those who aren't familiar, Arc's GTI is essentially a template for developers to make their own custom transaction types without having to modify their core framework. GTI inherently has a much lower level of complexity compared to core and helps accelerate development and distribution. The Arc Scooters project relies on the following three custom transaction types. Scooter registration. This is where the owner of a scooter can register their hardware, making it available for rental. Rental start transaction. Sent by the user, a rental start transaction is initiated by scanning the scooter's QR code via the Arc Scooter's mobile app. Rental finish transaction. A rental finish transaction is sent from the scooter's IoT hardware 
once a ride is completed. Any unused fees are automatically refunded to the user's wallet address. Alongside custom transactions, Socket Event Forwarder, a custom Arc Core plugin, has also been developed and implemented to emit real-time events via WebSockets to connected clients. This is used to send real-time Radiance updates to the mobile app. Developers can start building and customizing an Arc-based blockchain in an easy way by using the Arc Deployer at deployer.arc.io. Arc Scooters also has an analytics dashboard. The analytics dashboard is an opportunity to connect some well-known traditional IoT tools with blockchain technology. Here's a peek at what the dashboard looks like. This dashboard is responsible for providing the real-time status of registered hardware, the blockchain network, and also aids in debugging and development of the embedded hardware and firmware. It was created using thingsboard.io, an open source platform for data collection and visualization. This enables connectivity to devices through many common IoT protocols, such as MQTT and HTTP. Node-RED is used for data processing and mapping. It is a flow-based programming tool that allows for rapid prototyping and connectivity of IoT devices. MQTT is the primary off-chain protocol used for communication between the blockchain, scooter devices, and analytics dashboard. Delegate Deadlock of the Arc Public Network developed a special MQTT plugin that interfaces with the Arc core. PJ and MZ used it to send real-time updates between the Radian blockchain and the analytics dashboard, as well as the scooter using the MQTT protocol. The Arc Scooters project provides a means of managing real-world assets in a secure and highly extensible way. The Arc Scooters project is also open source and MIT licensed, meaning that developers and projects can use the code as an addition to their toolkit. We'd like to thank PJ and MZ for their hard work and dedication. They've built something meaningful that can be applied to an endless variety of real-world issues. As a final note, PJ and MZ had this to say. We would like to thank the ARC team for the amazing opportunity to work on this project and providing information when needed. Simon, a special thanks to you for leading this project and your support. This is not where it ends. We are brainstorming and working out different project ideas. So expect more to come. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm including links to the blog article about ARC scooters, as well as the Radiance website, radiance.nl, in the description. There are also other links that may interest you in there. Now, PJ and MZ are reachable on the ARC Slack at slack.arc.io. And you can get more news by following ARC on Twitter at ARC Ecosystem, or of course, by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications, setting them to all. Check out more videos here, and I'll see you next time.